got three thumbs up. Would somebody give me a four thumbs up if we have sound? You want to pull it up, see if it's up? The thumbs up. Yeah, it should be coming up soon. Just give me a minute. Make sure we have sound. We're, we're streaming with, with our Wi-Fi hotspot. Oh, there she is. Okay. How's then, sound? Of course, we've got advertising. How's sound? Advertising. Advertising. How's Commercials, sound? as you Americans say. Commercials. All right. We've got Dan Emons. No, no. How is sound? Oh, I don't know. There you go. We're good. We're good. We're, we're good. good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, quit having so much fun. All right. Quit having so much fun. Who is that? Uh, Satan's son. I don't like that. The sound is good. I don't like that. Yeah, it's weird. I don't like that. Matter of fact, I don't like that so badly. We're gonna uh, do this. Hold on. Come on now. Come on now. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? No way, you're all not quitting. All right, well, listen. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. This is this is going to be a tough stream to do. This it, is going to be a tough stream to do. Um, yeah, it's 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 rough. It'll be a tough stream to do. <laughs> let's let's go down the list. Let's go down the list. Before we start talking about exactly why we're leaving CDL 18 wheel big rig truck driving, no clap clap, no clap clap. Well, no, no a, clap clap. Not really a clap. No clap clap. clap clap. There's no joy in this. Let's go down the list. <laughs> clap clap. <laughs> Let's go down the list. You're having way too much fun for this stream. I know. I know. I'm just trying to. Not You're trying make to lighten it, it up so yeah, I'm not so heavy. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You're in this damn truck. An eight foot by ten foot space. You're in this thing all the time. If you're team driving, team driving. You see, what's happened with me is now that I've found this fine young animal, I'm like, do I want to spend every damn waking moment, pardon my language, in this truck? Or do I want to have a life with this woman away from this truck? Out doing other things. Like it's a Friday night. We're sitting at a truck stop. We've been driving all week. We've been, where have we been this week? We, we left Boise. Uh, we went to... California? Did we go straight to Cali? No, well, we, we didn't go straight to Cali. We, here, didn't we? we went We went from here, we went down to Salt Lake City, then That's we went over to, we went over to uh, Indiana, to Missouri, to Kentucky, and then we went to Cali, and then we stopped two stops in Cali yesterday, and then we came back to Boise. We're back in Boy. I'm going to say Boise. Somebody doesn't like me saying the Z. We went all the way east and then all the way west. And all we've done all week is drive. Like as soon as as soon as the the, the drop is done, the pick needs to be picked. And as soon as the pick is picked, the drop needs to be done. And as soon as she gets out of the out of the seat, I got to get in the seat. And as soon as I get out of the seat, she got to get in the seat. Eight by ten foot space. It's a Friday night. I'm actually really, really, really enjoying who I've got in my life. I'm really, really, really digging like this, this, this girl. And I'm like, don't want to spend every waking hour doing this with her. My brother's death this week has really shook me to the core. Probably in all the best ways. But you think about what this job entails. It's a, it, the job. It's not a job. It's not been a job to me. It's been a lifestyle. But think about what this job entails. It's like the military. When you think about it, if one person drops, they're gonna get 15 more recruits to fill your spot. If you're in, if you're in a battle situation, you get taken out. They're gonna have 15 more recruits in training to come fill your spot. Yeah, you you had some you had some corporate knowledge. You had some skill set knowledge you're still replaceable you're replaceable you're complete that's a perfect word yeah replaceable you're completely rep replaceable you want to read off any comments yeah, so far sure so let's see say it ain't so red hold on from dl hold on dl hold on Crit, uh let's see lewis morrow no way you're all quitting you're not all quitting or you're all not quitting there you go there you go you're, you're all, all not quitting um Sorry, this American lingo, this lingo. Hold I'm on, to... hold on. So, so you're in the truck all the time. The runs, like, pick, a pick drops, 
or a pick picks and a drop drops and you're back to a pick and back to a drop and back to a pick. There's always something else waiting. The, 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 the message system always has your next load. Always has your next load. Uh, Ver, uh, Veridiana Guterres, I'm sorry for the pronunciation. Is this real? Hold on, hold on, we're getting to it. Um, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop reading comments just for a second, pretty girl. Okay. You gorgeous, you gorgeous, fine young animal. There are so many other things I can be doing with my time now that I've got this fine young animal with me than sitting in a truck, moving down the road nonstop, go pick that, go drop this. You got more loads, more loads, more loads. And you got to worry about DOT. What do you think about DOT? Well, don't be too mean because they'll start, they'll look at us. I'm not. You know, sometimes you have a DOT officer who's just doing his job, keeping us all safe out there. I understand it. Some, some of them have a stick up their bottom, and that's not very nice. <laughs> They do. I'm being. Wait. I'm being nice. They're I'm bottom. being nice. They're bottom. But they do. They have a stick up their bottom. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. They're gonna get you on something. DOT's looking looking at oh. you. And then you, you 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 know you go into California and that's a whole other ball game. There wasn't a very nice lady at the at the inspection. We came place. to the port of entry yesterday. I was in the sleeper and I heard. I was in the sleeper. She came through the port of entry in Cali. We won't say which which interstate. That way, that we're given some disclosure that doesn't need to be there. She was so obnoxious to her, so oh. obnoxious. The woman, the little woman down here that with DOT at the port of entry was obnoxious. She wasn't very nice at all, and I'm being very very polite. You know, being British, you, you have your BOLs, your bill of lading on a, a clipboard. I don't want that in my lap or in one of my hands while I've got my steering wheel. You know, you're supposed to have two hands on the steering wheel. DOT, you know, all that. It's sitting on the chair right next to me, you know. Where's your, where's your bills? And I'm like, they're right. She did. She barked. She barked hard. And and that was being nice. I was like, they're right here, you know. And, you know, she just was just not nice. And I think it's because she had to come out of her little AC little box. I don't know. And she was, she was a big girl. She had to come out of her AC box. She was a big girl. But, you know, I was just nice anyway, you know, because I'm not going to let that get to me. You got you know? DOT coming at you. You got four-wheelers always, always oh. testing you. Always. It's like, you know, if you're going to have a battle between a four-wheeler and a semi, the semi's going to win. Period. So here's what we did. Well, actually, you know what? From my standpoint, I've been doing this five and a half years. You can look on YouTube and see how many miserable truck drivers there are that are out, out here talking about trucking. They got no teeth, they're bald, they're failing. The only success they've had is defrauding the VA allegedly. That's all, that's the only success they've ever had in their life. And they're out here after 30 years still complaining about truck driving, but they're gonna find the next new job. They've been on 17 jobs in the last five years, but the next one's gonna be the right one. The next one's gonna be the right one. But the reality is they have no idea what they're doing, none. I actually do. I actually have an idea what I'm doing. I actually have a strategy. I have a strategery out here. I have a strategery out here. I'm not just fumbling through all this. But I'm also thinking, do I want to be in a truck on a Friday night with this fine young animal at a truck stop versus going someplace and maybe shag dancing on the boardwalk? No, shag dancing is a real thing. It's not just the, it's not just the 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 the, the, vit, the what is it the movie the movie you're gonna shag me baby no it's it's a, it's a real it's a real dance do I want to be someplace just enjoying a, a nice steak dinner like we don't stop and sit down and eat no no you know she's been out here with me for three months I married her in Vegas in Vegas we did stop and eat but it was only because we got married. And we stopped that next morning. We had we, we had breakfast. We actually sat down. We and, sat down and, and had, had a conversation in a in a not necessarily a restaurant, but in like a little little Vegas little Vegas buffet place, a buffet. Sat down and ate. You and don't do that. Stop. Like I don't do that. I don't stop and eat. I can always eat. I don't I don't stop and eat. Five and a half years, I've only sat down to eat one time, and that was with her in Vegas. And you know what? I have not had a bubble bath in three months. You didn't tell me that. Well, you stop in the shower, it's like, and then you're in the shower and you wash up and then you're out the door, you know? So you want a bubble bath? 
Well, you want know, you want a bathtub bath. Once in a while, you know, I'm not I'm not that kind of girl. But once in a while, a nice little bubble bath and a glass of wine is kind of nice, you know. But that don't that's not gonna happen in trucking world, you know. Not gonna happen in truck driving. No, no. It's not happening in truck I driving. I mean, my dilemma when I get a shower is, should I shave my legs today or should I not shave my legs today? Because do I need a lotion or do I not need a lotion? That, that that's adds an extra five minutes, you know what I'm saying? Her dilemma is, does Red want to see the gorilla or does he want to see the sleek, <laughs> smooth animal? I, I would say it was a gorilla. That was, I was, it was fur effect. It was only fur effect. Well, yeah, it was only fur, fur effect. Fur, like fur. fur. I heard the fur. Fur. Furry. Fur effect. <laughs> and then I, I think about like, what is she perceiving this business to be? What is she perceiving the business to be after three months? Like, as a dude coming from a, a, a military background, I was I've been in combat. I, I don't have PTSD, but I was in combat, and you know. So, having my background in the military, this is a very this has been a very simple job. It's been a very simple hustle. Being a former, you know real estate millionaire it's been a very simple hustle this business I've just minimized my risk some of the people I like mr. Grimm's out here just building a trucking business I didn't want to do that I want to just make money and be done my brother's death this week set me back on my heels and then we began talking about all the negatives she and I because we have a really 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 like this is one of the best relationships I've ever had in my life this truly is one of the best and She's, she hears it every day. Do I want to spend that relationship driving a tractor trailer that there's always a load waiting, there's always a load waiting, there's always a load waiting, there's always DOT waiting, there's always four-wheelers waiting to ruin your day? Do I want all that? By the way, if you're here right now, it'd be nice. It would be nice just for this fine young animal. Walk over and smash the like or the dislike button for me. Whatever you want to do, I'm good. Just hit that button. And then I think about, is she out here just tolerating this? Three months in, having the time of our lives together as a couple. Is she just tolerating this? It's like, is it gonna be six months, nine months? She goes, you know what, I don't wanna do this anymore. It's been, it's been a novelty, I've kind, of, I've kind of enjoyed it. The money's been really good, but I wanna have a life. I don't wanna be doing this. I don't wanna be just... Three months nonstop. Three months nonstop, this non girl jumped in the truck. Mm -hmm. I've kicked people out of my truck to try to team drive with me faster than she's been out here. I've kicked them out within a matter of a week. I kicked a retired Marine out of my truck because he came out and wanted to be home on Christmas. I'm like, dude, you know I run nights, weekends, and holidays. I told you that. And you're a weekend, you want to go back home for Christmas. But do we really want to do that anymore? I don't know. I just well, that's from a dude standpoint. Uh, you take you take you peeing in the pee in a bottle. Sometimes you're having to go in the woods like a bear. You know yeah, what about you as a woman? Uh, yeah, I mean you know you have your. I'm still young enough to have my monthly cycle. The you shark know? week. You have the shark, shark week. week. You know you shark you week. have to deal with that. Um, you know today we were on on some beautiful beautiful roads, but no gas stations for 300 miles 300 miles no no gas stations. You know, i can't say that not I, fuel stations gas stations i can't say that i haven't been on the side of the road don't share too much because it'll a few times here or they'll there. lose respect for you if you share too much but you know what i'm saying i haven't i can't say i haven't i haven't done been in the woods with the bears in being in the woods with the bears yeah you know do you like that is that a lifestyle you want to have as a woman that's 42 be, years old and with a guy who's 40 I don't know. on if, YouTube, if it would be better, two years younger than you? I don't know, it would be better to have a bathroom, but the only bathroom And a bubble bath, no less. I do want a bubble bath. But anyway, I mean, the, the, in the bathrooms that we do get at the gas stations, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not my bathroom, you know, they're not squeaky clean. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. So here's, here's the point of this video. Here's the point. The, uh, you know, we've, we've been looking at other options, other, other avenues, because we've been talking like, listen, with my brother dying, with realizing that life has gone like that, like we, my brother and I were talking 
10 months ago, hold on, we've been talking 10 months ago about what to do with my mom when she passes. Because she's 81, 82. And we were talking like in November, what do we do with her when she passes? What's the plan going to be? You know? And then he dies. And he's two years older than me. Dies like that. Gone. Gone off the earth. And then she and I are talking like, do we want to do this? Like if I died in a year and a half, if I die tomorrow, don't want to be in a truck with her living my life. Do I want to live this life in a truck versus having a normal life? Like, cause this, this girl, like she deserves all of it. She deserves everything I can give her, but do I want to be in this truck doing that? You know? So we began looking around, we began looking around, we began, you know, what if, what if we didn't drive a tractor trailer? Hold on. I'm sorry. A CDL 18, don't clap. A CDL 18 with a big rig tractor trailer. What if we didn't? What if we lived a normal life? What if we lived a normal life? A house? A home? Well, no, you're, you, you're home. The house is just the place we get our mail. That's always going to be the case. Well, you're, true. You're true, my new zip true. code. You're my zip code. But Everything know, like, else is. Uh, a house but again, compared to a tractor. But yeah, compared to this 8 by 10 foot space. Yeah, yeah, you know. So we began looking. We began looking. We've been putting our feelers out. What did you find out today? Well, I did get an email today, and we were offered offered another job placement. That's what I want to say. You know, can't say too much. Uh, not in trucking, not in CDL eighteen no. wheel big rig truck driving. Clap, clap, put no claps. No claps. Uh, and it's not bad. You know, twenty bucks an hour. You know, forty hour work week, weekends, evenings off, Monday through Friday nine to. You know, 95, 7 to so, three. so tonight, if we if we take this job, you and I were going to work this same place. If we take this job tonight, we'd be off. Yeah, like you, like you, in like in two weeks, we'd be off tonight yeah. and, and off till Monday morning. Right, you'd be home. It'd be Friday night. You know, it'd be a kind of a cool night. But it's Friday before the weekend. You know, you might order pizza and. I don't know, whatever. We, I know? might I might be sitting in the bathroom giving her some wine while she's in the bubble bath and I'm watching what I'm about to devour. It could be that way. It could be that, yeah. It could be that sleep, way. We're going to sleep in on Saturday together. Not one of us get up and one of us be sleeping, you know? Um, so, I don't know. 20 bucks an hour. 20 bucks an hour. A normal life. A normal life. Now, you got to wear the muzzle. Hold on, hold on. 40 hour, hold on, hold 40 on. hour work week. Hold on, hold meaning, on. You know, hold on, hold on. We go and we hold come on. back. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Nothing That's not an improvement. I like the muzzle right here because that way I don't hear all the BS. Anyway, let's let's get back to this. So 20 bucks an hour. Both of us have a job, confirmed gig. We have we're off at night. It's a small commute. Working at the same place, kind of enjoying life, enjoying, you know, being traveled in together, travel back home together. So it's kind of like we're still in a truck, but we're not in a truck. Now, 40, you know, 40 hour work week. We're home every evening. 40 hour, I haven't worked a 40 hour week since I was 15 years old. I definitely haven't worked. I haven't worked a 40 hour week since I was 15. I like worked. that is, that's heaven. If you listen to that's heaven. I've worked nonstop for three months. Like, know? I haven't worked, if, like, when I was 15, I was in high school. I would be in high school, then I'd go to a nighttime job. I was leaving at 6.30 on the bus and then getting back home at 11 at night. I haven't worked a 40-hour week since I was 15. Mm. And I got a chance to do it because if I die next week, I can say I've actually enjoyed my time. My time with this fine young animal versus driving a tractor trailer that there's always a pick, always a drop, there's always people watching out trying to trying to get you. Non-stop. Non-stop. What about the math? Let's see. Like, let's, 20, let's, bucks let me, let me, 20 bucks an hour. 20 bucks an hour. 40 hour what, 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 20 bucks an hour, right? For, for what about benefits? What do they think about benefits? No, no, that's not what benefits. There's no, no benefits. No, no, no. no 401k, no, just, no dental, just, no med no medical. Just a salary job. Twenty bucks an hour. Yeah, forty hour work week. What about overtime? No, they don't want you doing overtime. So let's do the math on that. Let's do the math on that. You you can maybe do forty one hours, but no more than that. 
So 20 bucks an hour, 40 hour work week, two people work in the same place, 1600 bucks a week. Okay, right? Do, do the math with me. Do the math with me, because she's about to take a bubble bath. Where? We're gonna find that out in a minute. Just bear with me. 1600 bucks, driving into a gig, working 40 hours, no overtime, no benefits. Hold on, let me put this back on because I, I I don't I don't dress up for Halloween. I've never been that guy. Um, I get the pleasure of wearing this because they are coming back. They're going to be back in the next two months. You watch. Yeah, I don't. I, I yeah, I don't. So then you got then we got to rent the place. So the rents right now the rents have doubled. If you guys haven't paid attention, rents have doubled all across America, all across America. Two bedroom places in Charlotte are going for twelve and fourteen hundred bucks for a two bedroom. Used to be eight hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks two years ago. It's it's a crazy world. So the sixteen hundred bucks covers the rent and a little bit of utilities for the first week, and then you got the rest of the utilities plus your car plus your insurance plus your food, and then the third week of sixteen hundred bucks is going to be anything you need to have set aside for any medical, dental, eye, etc., clothes. I don't know if you guys, for the dudes watching, all the women, stop paying attention right now. <laughs> go like this. Go la, 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 la for the next three seconds. Actually, three minutes. For the dudes, if you've ever been with a woman, okay, like I've got like two layers of clothes, three layers of clothes. I have a vest, I have a t-shirt, and I have gym shorts. Women have to wear more than that. They have to wear like twice what we wear. They got to. You got to, you know, clothe her. Make sure she's she's situated for clothes. And then when you're off, you got to make sure she's looking good. You can't have her walking around in gym shorts. No. Not when she's off. A woman's not going to want to do that. I can't look like I, I don't care that. about it. She's not going to want to do that. No, I can't look like I don't care about it. So you're so we're we're three weeks into the month, and every penny we've made to that point at sixteen hundred bucks a week is going towards just the basic living I, expenses. I have twenty bucks an hour, which is not bad for most people. 20 bucks an hour is that, that is not bad. The That's average income in America is $42,000 no. per person. That's like when you, when you've arrived, you know? I don't know. That that sounds like heaven to me. When I sit back and I think about that from a red viking werewolf trucker standpoint, all the things I've done with my life, that's not like 3 weeks of the month to just just pay all my bills not even have any money for the viking werewolf extracurricular activities <laughs> which would be her and it wouldn't be a snuggle bunk it'd be a snuggle king size bed it'd be a snuggle king size bed we got to buy that too because i gave the ex all the all the property got to buy beds got to buy dressers got to buy tables for the downstairs got to buy a couch to sit on okay. i wanted out of that relationship so bad i gave her everything that sounds like heaven doesn't it Think about that. You get in a car, you drive 40 minutes to an hour to, 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 to work. You make 20 bucks an hour per person, 1600 bucks a week before taxes. Let's not forget about Uncle Sam. Walk over and smash the like or dislike button, please. Then you got to pay taxes. Then you got to pay all your bills, all your utilities, your car payment. We're not going to have, like, so having said all that, you've been out of here three months. I get a bubble bath. You get a bubble bath. <laughs> now, there is a part of me, I will say, there's a part of me that enjoys the, the mental visual of me sitting in the bathroom, watching you in the tub with a glass of wine, knowing I'm about to uh -huh, uh -huh. devour you in the bed. Anyway, let's anyway, get back to this. Anyway. So, so $1,600 bucks a week before expenses, before taxes. But it's confirmed. The job offer's been made to us. Yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it. And that's actually, that's for me, that's really good because I was only making like 15 bucks an hour before. Well, I say all that to say this. What did we make last week? Each. Combined. Combined? In one week. 
got uh, like six over six thousand dollars. So we could take this gig. Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. We could take this gig, make as much in four weeks as we make in one week now. Each. We have no expenses because. Our home is right here with us. We can afford medical, dental, eye, all that stuff. Out of, you know, almost out of pocket if you wanted to. I can always, if I need to, when she says red, I need a bubble bath. I can always get a hotel like tonight when we have off all night, grab a hotel, make sure it has a tub, and get some bubbles. And a glass of wine. And a glass of wine. But I also have options. Like, I don't know what your plan is with your life, man. I, I, I'm telling you, my brother's death shook me to the core. The, the pandemic blew him apart. Living by himself, no relationship, no tender rony in his life for the dudes. I don't know what you call it if it's a dude and they're a woman. But the tender that, Roni, that's that, a Bobby that, Brown from the 1980s. Okay, that went over my head, but you can explain. That's okay, it's a Bobby Brown reference, okay. but I love it, tender Roni. You can explain it later. He didn't have any of that. He didn't have that. He was, he was behind on his rent. I found out from his son, which is, it's horrifying when I think about it. I found out from his son that when that ice storm came through Dallas and Houston. I was there. It was rough. When it came through back in January, 1st of February, I found out his pipes burst. He was already behind on his mortgage payment. He didn't understand that even though he was behind, he could still file that claim to his insurance. He didn't understand that. He had never owned rental property. Even if you're behind, there's an escrow for that, that insurance. He didn't understand that. He hadn't had running water in his house since February. That's a horrifying thing for me to think about as his brother. He was making about 25 bucks an hour before the pandemic. He was doing all the things I'm telling you, but he didn't have a woman in his life. He didn't have to buy all the under things, plus the outer things, plus the, the boots and the shoes and the bubble bath. He didn't have to do all that because he had no woman in his life. That's not, that's not living, man. That's not living. To me, it's not living. And all of you folks out there that know about CDL 18 wheel big rig truck driving, that you actually enjoy the business, you know what I'm telling you. Get a little bit of light on the. No, it's too much light. You know what I'm telling you that this business, show me a place you can go make six grand a week plus. Show me. Turn all your stuff in. Put it all in storage. You know? We rent a room from Mr. Grimm. I'm never there. I don't want to be there. I want to be out with this fine young animal traveling in the U.S., making money, enjoying my life. This is not a struggle. No. No, it's not a struggle. It's not a struggle. No. You know? I can do without the bubble baths. Well, no, no. She wants a bubble bath. I do, she's, yeah. she's, she's, She wants a bubble bath. Every Once woman. in a while. Once in a while, a bubble bath is nice, especially when the uh, your guy's watching, you know, with a glass of wine. Anyways. When your guys, is that what you said when your guys watch? When your guys watch. <laughs> yeah, I'll be you, watching. You said you wanted to watch. I will be watching. Yes, man. Listen. Hey, a hotel. This is what I'm going to say about all that. I'm sorry. I was going to say a hotel room or the snuggle bunk. It's kind of on par. You know what I'm saying? I prefer the snuggle bunk. Mm -hmm. So we're quitting truck driving. We're going to go work for 20 bucks an hour, 40 hours a week, no overtime, no benefits. Have to have a car, have insurance, uh -huh. fight traffic. Have no see she keeps saying no, have sorry, a home. A how a place You're to my, live. A you place. are my home. I'm sorry. You a place are my zip code. To live. A, a place, place to, to get live. my mail is totally yes, different than yes. a home. You no, are my home. You are my home too. Don't even make me argue with you. I'm not arguing. You're too pur you're too purdy. Purdy. You're too purdy. No, a place to uh, roof over your head. And yet people all day long they settle for death. Like that twenty buck an hour gig, that twenty five bucks an hour. That fraudulent, allegedly fraudulent VA claim of PTSD from White House duty, that's shameful, man. That's shameful. To be to be living a life like that and, and just defrauding everybody around you, that's, that's shameful. I think 25 bucks an hour is shameful. I think coming out here and, 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 and 
faking it till you make it shameful. You're either doing it or you're not. You're either succeeding or you're not. There's no faking it till you make it. Why don't you look yourself in the mirror and go, why am I having to fake it? Why isn't it real? And why am I in a, in a bad relationship, bad job, bad marriage, bad whatever for 20, 25 bucks an hour? Why am I going home to hell when there's, when there's heaven out here? And there's heaven out here. I found it. I found it. It's getting darker, aren't we? It's getting darker. Put a little uh, bit of light in the back does of it. Does that work or not really? That, that works. That works. There you go. So we're quitting truck driving over my dead body. <laughs> <laughs> over my dead body. I, I love this gig. So and, I've been on the road for three months nonstop with a duffel bag that I took to another company. I didn't even come in. I got married in Vegas. I didn't even go back to my stuff, you know? She's going back this weekend, though. But you know what? It, it it makes life a little nicer, but that's it, you know? What's life is this right here. This. What's home is this. It is. It is. It is. And I'm telling you guys, when I think about how my brother laid in his house and died of a massive heart attack and the situation he was in, there are so many people. It's about to come back around. It's coming back around. They're going to make you wear this again shortly. They're going to put your kids in this in school. They're going to they're going to indoctrinate them early. They're going to put fear in them early. It's, it's, it's a shame. And I'm out here in having a time of my freaking life with the woman that just lights me up in all the best ways. So if with I a, if I if I ever take a twenty dollar an hour job or twenty five dollar an hour job. You guys just need to come with the baseball bat and take me out. Just take me out. Just find me and whoop me to death. Per period. Period. I think I'd rather be shot. <laughs> period. Period. Well, period. Well, she's got to catch a plane early in the morning. We're gonna get out of here. Please uh, consider what I've told you this evening. I can't. I can't speak to what you're doing for a living. I can't speak to why you're out here not succeeding in truck driving after 30 years with with allegedly fake PTSD money. I can't speak to all that. I can't. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. You are a stupid person, you win stupid prizes. This is a simple business. We we say all of the time, when I'm driving, he's driving, the mountains are in front of us, the open road. The rings, the rings the have rings, mountain ranges. Yep. And you say, we're getting paid to do this. You know? Or you can go get a job for 20, 25 bucks an hour and have all the bills and spend three and a half weeks paying all your bills and have a half a week's money left just for whatever else you need, plus her frilly. Well, yeah, and that 2025 is if you've got like some kind of degree or you've worked your way up. It, it, it's, it's a lot less than that if you don't have any of that. There either. are people with degrees tonight that are that are, that are are bartending. Yeah. Their yeah. degrees, they have $120,000 in debt and they're bartending. Okay? What a scam the, the education system's become. What a scam it's become. We're going to rock and roll. i got to find her a bubble bath, apparently. Allegedly. <laughs> maybe, maybe on our time off next time. Red Viking Werewolf and the Hurricane. We are. Bominos. Bominos.